Hello and welcome to this episode of Mob Talks. That's me, and this is my sometimes co-presenter Robert. Hello. Now we are fast charging at the fast charger in Arvim. We are going a quick hop across the border into Sweden. And so we'll need to be here in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. 15. Yeah, so coffee, always coffee. I don't know who drinks coffee. Between me and James Cook, I don't know which one of us drinks the most. I think James. <laughs> <laughs> For the, <laughs> those of you who don't know, he's, he's a British, he's having a vlog channel. I've tried and try, I will try to link it somewhere. You find the link in the description. Yes, what he said. So, this has been my daily driver now for a year and a bit. Uh, getting on to close to a year and a half. It's a Kia Soul EV, naturally. Um, and I primarily bought it because I was doing part-time studies and I thought, okay, it's a limited range. I, yeah, maybe, you know, it's it fits my needs. I won't be doing that many miles in no. it. At least I thought so. But, um, well, you've been with me for many of my travels and uh, last the last year, how long did I drive with it? The longest? No, yeah, well, what, yeah. We had a long trip in it. Yeah, we were driving to Trondheim. And uh, that's... Uh, um, with with a short trip we had to Frosta. Uh, it was around 1400 kilometers. And the range of this is in summertime around 170 kilometers. Yeah, but I was very... Maximum. I was I was very impressed by the range on the car on that trip because uh, we got where we wanted to go and I was a little bit worried when we were going to Frosta because the nearest charger was at uh, Barnes that is uh, yeah 60 kilometers from Frosta and we had to get back and forth and I didn't know where we were going at Frosta, where we won, but I wanted to show you. So, no, because you're from that area. Yeah, I'm and also, also, uh, Varnes is 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 the airport for the Trondheim uh, county. And and uh, I think the right is Trondheim, but uh, yes. yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 I mean that. That's what I meant. That's what I, <laughs> that's what I meant. And 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 the 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 uh, um, the topography is a little bit well like this, up and down and hills and stuff. And that drains energy. But we were lucky with the weather, so it wasn't too um, wasn't too cold. No, and we also had the the always. I don't know why, but we had the wind behind us and so, yeah so we we drifted with the wind yeah that's always nice so yeah but but you bought this car uh i think a week before uh i went on a holiday to turkey uh and okay. uh, yeah this this car and i remember what uh the the, the tripometer said before i went to turkey uh, and I were away for one week, and when I got back, you had drive, drove this car, I think, four or five hundred kilometers. On a week? On a week, while I was away in Turkey. And this, as, you under, as I'm sure you, it's, it, it's like I said, 170 kilometers fully charged on summer temperatures, give or take, and the winter is around 100, 110, 112, depending on... And it's, it's a city car, it's sort of, you know, a drive to the shop and back in... How in the, how did I do that? I don't know, I was in Turkey. Right. I was drinking mojitos and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I was studying and busy 
part-time, part-time studying and working. But for work, <clears throat> I don't use this car. Uh, I work in construction and groundworks, so I have to use a a, a car pro provided by by the company I work for, which is a diesel, a relatively cheap diesel, which um sort of the complete antithesis of this. This is quiet and uh, as all EVs, but it's still uh, and most of the background noise you can hear in in picked up by Microsoft microphones are mostly with a bit of music on you don't really notice it but the diesel is cheap and it's a van so it sounds like you're sitting inside uh, I don't know a hammer works or whatever it's awful <laughs> it's sort of every time I get home and I get into this I will always go oh silence and efficiency and actually power because even though this isn't a Tesla it's still the electric driver's train still does what it does best, and that just work. And it's quite comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I, I, we as, as, as we said, we drove to Trondheim, and it's it's 60... 600 kilometers, 600, give or take. Yeah, around that, and I do have some back issues, uh, or the whole body, but... Uh, and I didn't have... You were the one... That was complaining yeah, about. Yeah, I, I, normally I'm, 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 I'm mostly in good shape. Yeah, but, 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 but that trip, for some reason, my back was playing up, and I had, I think we were, I don't know, the one day when we were driving from Trondheim and up to uh, to Frost, I think we were, fifteen minutes into the car, and my back was killing me. So it was truly terrible but you know it wasn't the car's fault the cars the seats are really the, the, good yeah it's one of the best seats i have sit, sit and been yeah, sitting well, in considering this type of car and all that it's very good i mean it's no it's no lexus but it's great the seats are good actually we tried the nissan a week before i ordered this car i think give yeah, or take yeah. a week and yeah, then uh, we, we were uh we were at the car dealer on Thursday for this car, mm -hmm. and the Saturday before we were at Nissan and, and tried the Leaf. And that was just before, I mean I've been having God knows how many cars, 15 different cars, Porsches and Caprices and a lot crap. of stuff. Yeah, yeah, a lot of Mostly old, crap. old crap. <laughs> so, so just, okay, let's try this electric car malarkey thing, you know. Uh, he, he, he is, he, a lot of our friends has said, what the heck are you doing with an electric car, you petrol, you, you, you are such a car enthusiast and you love cars and you have bought an electric car? Yeah, and the uh, key uh, on top of it. Are you stupid? <laughs> I mean, if you told me 10 years ago, uh, 11 years ago, when I had the old Porsche 911, couldn't afford it, but I ended up buying it, and long story. Um, you know, that I would be driving, first of all, an electric car. And then, of, then an electric Kia or a Hyundai. And, and this was when they were still, well, they were cheap. And they were, yeah, no, 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 no. Well, they were getting better, but they were still perceived as, um, and in my memory, it was still just cheap crap. So I would probably punch you. But <laughs> here we are 10, 11 years later, and I must say it's a, one of the best cars I've had and it's new so and it just works I, I would um, if I will uh, compare it to something mm -hmm. I will I would compare it with the, the Toyota Yaris that you had uh, on petrol yeah uh, because it's 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 uh, it's a compact car yeah, it's the same and size. it's it's fun to drive and uh, and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's the same. It has the same purposes. Mm. Uh, it's a, it's a city car that you can, if you want, uh, take on longer trips. But it's not ideal. Well, the Toyotas were actually rather fairly alright driving. And I drove it uh, 500 kilometers down to Christensen once. It worked okay, yeah. and it was stupidly cheap to run as well.
<laughs> it was a tiny yeah. one liter or one point two liter engine. Yes. You have run, been running out of uh, gas uh, twelve kilometers kilometers from the, the gas, gas station. station. <laughs> yeah, but because because, because it's a, it, you were so used to it. Um, yeah, yeah, this goes okay, and you got uh, 12, 12 kilo kilometers from the bo from the gas station, and the car dies. And uh, it was. Uh, it was too efficient for it, though, for its own good because you just thought you, you never really ran out of gas and you always got where you were going and then when you were you know okay I could drive from the reserve on on the reserve tank about what 808 kilo, 80 kilometers yeah, then, then, from Sweden and back home back home to where we are now and that's that that's really <laughs> mad so you thought oh, yeah yeah of yeah, course you can get across the border and down to the city and it couldn't no no. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, we are off to. Well, we have to go now. But um, maybe we'll do an update later when we get to Sweden. Maybe not. Uh, anyway, see you later. Bye. Bye bye.